With lots of smiles in North Park today. Constantine Bacala's family has been waiting for this day for a very long time. He'd been separated from his family for more than a year and a half. And today, the happy reunion. I felt joy. With the help of a translator, Constantine Bacala described seeing his family for the first time after 20 months apart. Pure joy when I uh, hug them and kiss them. It's been a long road to get to today. Bacala and his family fled the Democratic Republic of Congo back in 2016. His wife says her husband was targeted because of his participation in an opposition party that promoted democracy in the country. Once they arrived in the U.S., Bacala was separated from his wife and kids and sent to a detention facility in Georgia. A judge ordered he be deported. We are a nation of immigrants. All of us. News 8 was there for a rally in Bacala's honor back in February. His family continued to fight for him. And with the help of faith leaders at St. Luke's Episcopal, attorneys and the San Diego Organizing Project, Bacala was granted parole and reunited with his family. <laughs> Through a translator, his wife told the congregation, I'm very happy because God has opened the heaven and has taken a look on my family. His oldest daughter, Marie Louise. I don't know what to say, but I'm just, I'm just very happy. Happy that her dad will be with them for her 18th birthday. My birthday will be next month, and my dad is here. You know, I, I'm very grateful. Their message to others. Whatever is your situation, just remember that you are not alone. And Bacala's case is far from over, however. Though his case has been transferred to California, he doesn't have a hearing date set yet. So for now, his family waits.